Hi folks, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Nisi. We are gonna get into some more new music for the week. And outside of POW, which I checked out for new music when they released Favorite, which I love that song still, which is why I'm coming back for more, but they're the only group of the four that I'm reacting to in this video that I know. And obviously I know so little because I didn't know anything about them before until I reacted to, to Favorite. So to be fair, I don't know much about most of these groups outside of the fact that I like a POW song already. We are gonna get into Epic's 82 Major ONF and POW's drops from this last week. And I wanna start with Epic because the title is called Full Metal Jacket. Makes me think of the movie. I wonder if it's gonna be kind of crazy. We'll see. I wonder if it's gonna be Rocky too, because that's what I would have aligned to Full Metal Jacket in terms of sound, or if it's gonna be, you know, rap. I'm just interested to know what this, this one's gonna be. Then 82 Majors, I, I can't even imagine what it's gonna be, so we'll see. And then same with ONF. And I just imagine POW is gonna be sound sweet, sound pretty, sound nice, and I'm excited for it. So let's start with Epic's Full Metal Jacket, released a couple days ago. I definitely don't know C9 Entertainment, that's for sure. Ooh! <sighs> Whoa. Is it gonna be Rocky? Yes. Sorry guys, it's so loud. <laughs> I'm sure this is what people feel like when they go from someone else's video to my video. They're like, oh, why can't I hear anything? Or, oh, it's so annoyingly loud because the audio sucks. That's what I was listening to before this, not this, which I'm sure is pri like prime readied. And now my headphones are just really high up. Okay, but it does sound like it's giving me what I was hoping it was gonna give me, which is like, I was kind of interested to hear something rocky from them. So, so far, so good. It kind of feels like it's still loud. I know I can't hear, but I'm not that deaf. Ooh. I don't know, they're scaring me. Which I guess is what I would expect with Full Metal Jacket. Oh, okay, is there subtitle? Scorpion, ugh. It's freaky. I don't like to be close enough that I can see that scorpions have little hair follicles. Oh my god, they're moving so much I can't see any faces, but... Okay, it's not rocky at all, actually. It's very much more, like, pop, poppy. With, like, a little bit of, like, a... a hip hop undertone here and like a little bit of an R&B when you start to get into that smoother break. It's just the like beginning of this like da -da -da -da. gives it that crazy rock sound. It's not actually really rocky. Yeah, feels like an old school style of flow. Ooh, you're gonna take off the mask? Mm. Interesting, different for me from like the groups I'm used to listening. To be honest, I don't know a lot of K-pop groups, so <laughs> could not be different from the plethora of the whole, but definitely from like what I'm used to in my uh, preference and my taste, definitely different sound, which I like. It always piques me, gets me excited when something sounds different than I'm used to listening to lately. So I'm liking it. Mm, the sound on that. Left, center, right. Ooh. Oh, it's like a robot scorpion. Yeah, the chorus though has what I want right now with this. Yeah, it's giving me like Beastie Boy, Rocky rap vibe. Mm. 50 songs in this one song. Ooh, breaking folks! 
They do so many different things on that boom, boom, boom. Okay. Just want to say, in the U.S., we have we have basically a freaking looting endemic happening right now. You know what I mean? We have a countrywide problem. <laughs> we have a countrywide problem of looting. I do not approve of people doing this. Literally, this was this looks like it's taken from the news that I was watching. Freaking yesterday, where was Oakland? Freaking Oakland is getting toe that frick up with looters. So just, just say <laughs> they are. They, this is just for show, okay? Please do not go out and loot. All right, it's just ruining the economy. It's ruining our businesses. It's ruining life for people. Okay, stop looting. <laughs> I love it. Boom, crash, duck. I don't know why the order is cracking me up, but the order somehow is. Okay, so it's like the full metal jacket's targeting you. Okay, I like it. Stop looting! <laughs> okay, thumbnail. Ooh, there was another man with you. You guys. I'm so scared of all the guns. Ooh. Okay, they switched it up. Before it was the full metal jacket was coming for them. Oh, but now they put it on. Wait, who's looting? Which ones are the looters? Mm -hmm. What? Wait! Not prepared for this end with a dance break? Wait, wait, wait. Sick. That was sick. Can, it does not sound like you are going to, it sounds the opposite. You definitely don't look like you're about to surrender. I don't even know why you're asking the question because clearly the answer is no. No, Epix is not surrendering, clearly not. They're looting. <laughs> Stop looting. Okay, that was fun. I just was in the mood for a little bit rockiness. I don't know. I also listen to a lot of stuff, so I think every now and then, just like depending on what else I'm listening to, the flow of like what I want next or like what will change things up for me from what I've been recording or even before I'm recording, still just listening to K-pop music. Sometimes I'm just like in the mood for something and I think I probably haven't been listening to a lot of Rocky stuff and therefore I was excited that Epix might give me that. Thank you for giving it to me. And you gave me a lot more. You gave me a lot of flavors, a lot of colors. It just wasn't rock, a lot of colors. I don't know what judgment I would make off of that because it's such a very it's such a very uh, specific type of song. The best I can say is can't really make a judgment. It's a very screamy song, so can't really make a judgment on like music. Oh, the, the parts that they were singing sounded nice. I like their rap style, I like the flow, but like the the beat was set particularly for like a more laid back, old school type flow. So I'd be interested to hear them on a different type of song. So I just think I need I would need to hear another epic song to really feel like, okay, what do I think about epics? Right now I'm gonna say I like it, but I don't really know because I don't think I think that song is a unique type of song. I wouldn't really think it's a standard if it were me. Now if this is epic standard, that's interesting. That's very interesting to me if it is. All right, let's check out 82 Major. I think it's an interesting name. Wonder what it might mean but I won't look it up. And this MV is called Sure Thing, all right? I'm still forever confused by the date that Mnet puts, because I always thought it was the date that it aired, but I'm 100% certain that this was released a couple days ago. So that's too far back. I don't get it, but anyway, let's go. Just realizing that recently, 
저는 남성모입니다. 오케이, 남성모. 김도균입니다. 김 김도균. 이고요 윤희애 찬. 황성빈이라고 합니다. 황성빈. 안녕하세요. 박석준입니다. 박석준. 에리트 메이저의 조성일입니다. 조성일. 잘 부탁드립니다. 자, 성지. 에리트 메이저의 조성일입니다. 성일. 잘 부탁드립니다. Hi. Okay, I just want to see what they said. Let me introduce myself. We are 82 major. Okay, so this is a debut. Oh. Okay, I think you guys know that I like I like this sort of easy sugary type sound. So it's already sounding very sweet to my ear right now. I'm liking it. Ooh. Gotta be honest though, after hearing a lot of songs like this, things are starting to, starting to sound similar. Like listening to this, I'm like, have I heard this already? Why does it sound similar? But I think this type of song just has that type of vibe, that type of beat, has the same sort of instrumentations with like the lights, the light uh, drums, the light cymbals. I think that's just, they kind of sound alike. The genre is more, more akin to sound alike to each other. I definitely haven't heard this. It just came out two days ago. This song sounds familiar, so if you know of a song that sounds like this, please tell me. Because I feel like I'm thinking of that song. It's just really only this part. That's the only part that sounds familiar. This part, but everything else sounds new. Yeah, sure thing. It's true, you can trust me. Ooh, whoever's voice this is, I like the sound of it. I don't think it's a waste. Not for you. It's like an automatic. I want to do everything for you. Does it, it doesn't matter. It's not rainy. It's not cloudy. Just, it's always a beautiful day when I'm with you. Cute. Dang. You got kicks like that, boy? Interesting. I wouldn't have thought that this was, um, that would have been the, the catch. I was wondering the sure thing. I know I've heard it before earlier in the song. It's not the first time they said it. It's not the most catchy of this part. <laughs> I'll say it over again. Yeah, sure thing. It's true. You can trust me. Okay, so that's the cute thing. That's what they're saying. It's like, I'll say it again. Yeah, sure thing. Yeah. Okay. Such a little part of this song for it to be the title. Unexpected weather, even if it's a bad day. Ooh, practice, boys. I don't know. So many of these boys look like they're they look skatery, more like a skater than a K-pop star. Not him, but some of them. This one. <laughs> Cute boys. Yeah, the two with the shaggy light hair. <laughs> I like the easiness of it. Of this, of the video, of the song. Cute. Looks like you guys have fun. Ooh, pretty. Okay, boys. It's a sure thing. You can trust 82 Major, they're saying. Okay. I like it. 
liked it. I liked it. Not as much as I thought I was going to in the beginning. Maybe because it's just like, oh, just like a smidge, a smidge of the same um, tone and I feel like an impact the entire song where I typically appreciate crazy songs that have a little bit more dynamics to the structure of the song. But God, I'm gonna be able to listen to that endlessly. It's just, again, it's an easy, good feeling type of song that for me is it's just super easy to just like end up listening to and not realize that like I replayed it a couple of times. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be interested in 82 Major. We'll see. We'll see if I dive back in on them. They are cute. I love. I really like the music video. The music video gave me that. I don't know if it's if it's technically their debut. It seems like it is based with all the introductions and stuff. So I'm just assuming. But if this is their debut, I think it's a. Uh, I want to say well-rounded. More so like a. A, a nice middle ground type of song that I think can appeal to a lot of people. And so I would be interested to hear like, you know, what are maybe a little bit more of the extremes on this album, which are the ones that are like furthest away from this type of song to kind of hear what an 80, 82 major sounds like. I said earlier at the beginning of the song, I think there are a lot of songs that sound like this, which is why I also thought I was gonna like it a lot, which is why I think a lot of people will like it. Cause this type of sound again is palatable to a lot of people. But the longer I hear it, the less excited I get because I also know a lot of songs that sound like that to me that I think I like more, right? So that's just the comparison point, but good first debut song. And like I said, I think it's gonna appeal to a lot of different people, which will hopefully help them attract new fans. So let us jump to the next new music. I feel like all of the new folks I'm checking in on are just like kind of like new and small. I feel like all of the, the heavy hitters like released like on Friday, like or on Thursday night. And so a lot of the ones I'm reacting to that were released a little bit earlier in the week are um, like less of the big groups. Cause I know, I'm pretty sure Idol has a song out already now and I, I know NCT. So I'm sure that all that stuff is gonna have to be on next week's. All right, let us check out ONF Love Effect. Oh, there was a lot of people in that last group. I didn't count though. It looks seemed like maybe eight. All right, this group has six. All right. I was gonna say, it doesn't sound sweet, but it's sweet. It's just that eerie sound in the beginning. You in a video game? Ooh. Ooh. Your heart's been infected. As if my heart came to my ears. So loud, the pounding. Ooh. Big. Okay, CG. I've been watching so many music videos now. I'm so wrapped up in the CG of it all. That's yeah, got a cool transition though. <laughs> Cute. Okay, so I get that's the love effect we're seeing. We're seeing that love effect. Interesting tone on this fool. I don't mean to call you a fool. I call everybody fools just to let you know, good sir, okay? Not trying to disrespect you with your mo Moschino t-shirt on. All right, his flow, his flow, oh, like really it's just his tone is what I mean. The sound of his voice. His voice is so um, unique. For any rapper, that is what you want is to have a voice that sounds like a voice that you have not heard before. So intriguing to me. Yeah, even how it's not it isn't just his the his voice and it's it really is how he enunciates too like how he says things sounds different. Um, 
that's, I, I like it. It's interesting. I'm just like kind of wrapped up in it right now. And I'm, so I'm not exactly sure exactly why. I know I like it, but I don't really know why. Something, something in this part. Back here. Before I meet you, I was eclipsed. I could see the light. I couldn't see the light. <laughs> okay, for the sound, the flow, nah. But the sound I love. <laughs> Cute. Ooh, look at those hot piano keys being hit. Celebration. Is this the same clothing store that the boys next door filmed? Uh... <laughs> Really, I could sing all of that and get to this part and be lost still? <laughs> One and only. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> I really shouldn't do that to my voice. My voice, it hurts. Um, One and only. Is this the place that they filmed? One, it looked like the same store that One and Only was filmed. Legitimately, it feels like the same store. I guess so many stores look the same. <laughs> With the racks of clothes. What is this basketball hoop? Why am I so intrigued by what I'm seeing? That has nothing to do with the song or the music video. Get that love effect. I play Goosebumps. What do you mean? Oh, you like play the Goosebumps like you're playing an instrument. <laughs> Cute. Bum, 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 bum. Ooh, key change. This reminds me of someone, but I don't know who it is. Not K-pop, I'm thinking. It reminds me of some other artist, Western artist, band. Smell your, your smile, your smell, all those particles of love. Cute. Mmm. Yeah. Woo! You guys came and you just brought that love effect and then you just flittered away like little fairies. Wow. Okay, Oda. Oh, that was your seventh mini album? Okay, you really have been around. I enjoyed that song. I still can't remember what, it's not One Direction, like it's in the vein, but that's not it. There's another band that the, the sound of the song, I'm not really saying it of the like group or their voices per se, it really is just the sound of the song that I'm thinking of. It's not something, it's not something Disney, but it's like something close to that. This feels like it teeters on that line of like a good, uplifting, Disney love type song. And that is not to discount um, them as artists. But I hope nobody takes that negatively. I love all kinds of music, including Disney music. So it's just, you know, the, the age range that I'm talking about that might love this the most is like where I feel like that fits. Uh, more like the t that teenage range, but it's super sweet, super light, cute. They're cute. They're very cute. Um, so I like that. I like that O and F. All right, let's go to Pow. Amazing. I just feel like this is going to be the one that I'm going to love, but that's only because I know one of their songs already and I love it. So favorite, amazing. All wonderful things that you've titled your album so far. Okay, thumbnail. I was wondering where you were in the streets. So amazing. Oh. Play, replaying favorite back in my head. Oh, so different. This is a real anthem, crowd clapping type song, okay. With heavy guitar riff. Okay. 
okay. I like different, so thank you for showing me something different. Ooh. Oh, this was my group of beautiful, beautiful guys. I thought they all were so cute. And little. <laughs> They're not that little, though. Just to be. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, real EDM on it. So different from, from favorite. Why do I like bow leg moves so much? Mmm, man, you look like you're about to box. Oh, you are boxing. Mm. Ooh, I like the hardness. They feel harder in this. Yes. They were so cute in the last one, but I'm getting a lot less cuteness. <laughs> Even though they're still so cute. Are you on a soccer field? Interesting. Yeah, feel that vibe. You're coming up, guys. Your time. Feel amazing. Wow. 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 Look at you guys in your little soccer outfits. I'll be honest, I, it's very hard for me to stare at anything but your thighs with that bare leg. Ooh, you sound so pretty, boo. Not talk over you. Ooh, I love how we got a little country in this part. Pretty. Okay, that love. Is it our love? Fan love? Lifts you up? So amazing. Yeah, this, the chorus isn't my favorite because it's... It's meant to be the EDM drop of it all. So Not that it's the most uh, lyrically wonderful chorus. It's all about the drop and the beat and the music in that moment. But I love like the song around it, the lyrics, the verses. I loved the whatever that bridge break was towards the end. That was so, 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 so pretty. Chorus, nah, it's not the catchiest chorus, but Again, like I said, for courses like that, it's kind of more about the beat. So like, I still was getting into the beat and like I care less about what they were saying. So amazing, so amazing. Okay, yes, so amazing. But the beat is what drives you there and keeps you through the rest of the song. I like uh, Pow. It could also be there freaking. What just happened? Is everyone disappearing? Everyone just disappears. Oh no, they didn't disappear. Just like a weird air around them. <laughs> just a weird air coming in, but they're walking away. I like Pal. I was gonna say, I think it could be their cute freaking faces. I just wanna eat all their faces up because they're so cute. Yeah, this is what I remember. This face here too from the first one. You are so cute. Your hair is longer in this one now. Good looking boy. But um. I like their voices. I think I like something about their voices. I don't think this song necessarily is meant to like, except for like certain segments, like I said, like that break that we got to, to like really highlight the vocals. I think the vocals were way more highlighted on favorite, but I remember really liking the sound of their voices. I love their look clearly. I have eyes and cannot turn that off. And I find them to be good looking young men. And I love that they gave me something different. So. Granted, this is two songs now, but if two songs in, this one first album, their first EP favorite for 
them to have these different sounds. I will say it a million times. It's why I love K-pop. And when there's a group who does so many different genres well, those are the groups I'm going to glom onto. Not to say that there might not be groups that are more, you know, rap or more rock. Let's just say as examples. I actually haven't gotten into a lot of K-pop rock, even though I'm starting to see now that they're there. Like The Rose was a group that I think recently um, released something that I had heard of a while ago. And I think they're like truly like band band, right? Like they're like a Korean band, rock band it seems like. So there's probably some more rock stuff that I could get into, but if I'm just focused on K-pop as a whole, if I could find those groups, new groups that I like, and from the beginning they're doing the mesh of all the genres very well, uh, they're going to intrigue me more because I'm gonna be attracted to their versatility. So Pow uh, immediately is shooting up uh, more quickly for that reason. <laughs> so I will definitely check out the rest of this Pow album now that I like two of the songs. So that was new music for this week. Like I said, all like very, not just new music, but like new-ish groups. And if they're not new, they're still like fourth gen. I don't even know what generation. They're all, this is fifth gen. I don't even know where we are anymore. I don't know anything. You guys teach me. So thank you for watching. I appreciate you spending time with me checking out these groups. If you're a fan of these, any of these groups, and there's anything in particular that you really love, recommend it to me. I will definitely check them out. Uh, it might not be a reaction, but I will definitely check it out myself. So if you have any interest in any of these groups and there's some songs that you think I might like to hear, drop them in the comments. Otherwise, I will, I'm sure, check in on these groups sometime in the future. Who knows how soon? But I hope that you all are having a wonderful day and uh, hope to see you in my next video. Bye!